Welcome to episode 174 of In Touch with iOS, a podcast that talks about iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV, polishing cloths, and related technologies. Our, I am your host, Dave Ginsberg. My co-host, Warren Sklar, he is in Dublin, Ireland, and visiting his son. He'll be going away for the next few weeks, but we've got two great new guests that have returning guests here. Mr. Holden DePardo, how are you doing, Holden? Doing well, Dave. Thanks for having me. Yeah, like thanks for being here. And we'll also have uh, his uh, partner crime, Brian Departo. How are you doing, Brian? Doing great. Thanks. Hey, Holden. Oh, hi. How's it going, sir? <laughs> Pretty good, sir. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, we had this silly thing called a Apple event this past week, but uh, it really didn't have too much in the way of iPhone or iPad or any of our related technologies. So, But uh, there was a few things that we'll be talking about. Uh, we've got some new stories this week. Beta is very close to being uh, hotly released and uh, all kinds of other fun stuff. Uh, so let's go jump into some of the stories I found this week. Uh, this is on Mac Rumors. Apple removes references to the original HomePod. Oh, sigh, sigh. From its website yeah. months after its discontinuation. Apple has removed all references to the original full-sized HomePod. And I'm looking up at my HomePod right now from its website months after officially discontinuing it because uh, it struggled to reach that mainstream adoption. Uh, because they they came out with the HomePod Mini, and they uh, and the, the, it came out. It was a great speaker, but was very high priced. Uh, do you guys have? Uh, uh, do either where you have the HomePods? Uh, do you just have HomePod I, Minis. I, I do. I have okay. a full size one. Yeah, so um, I got two. It's in our living room. It still works as well, don't you? I have I have a couple of Minis, and I have the full the full size one, which sounds amazing. Yeah, it does. Um, and I, I mean, I didn't pay full price for it. In all no. fairness, it, it was expensive. I, either. I got it on sale. Yeah, Me too. so I think it was worth it. But I can understand why, you know, Apple um, pulled it. It probably wasn't flying off the shelves. The no, the um, no, the mini is priced as an impulse item. You know, it is. Yeah. And they've seen them as slow as seventy nine bucks. So you, yeah, could, you could, they could be yeah. had. But we'll talk. We'll talk they about the mini really mini really good. I got a couple of minis too. I've got. Well, three minis, I think I have, I can think of, and yeah. two two home pods uh, that are in pair uh, that work really well with my Apple TV that's uh, that's hooked up uh, when I'm watching uh, a show here. So uh, no, it's they still work. Let's just hope Apple will continue to support them. That's the only thing yeah. I can I worry about because it was introduced three three years ago, and you know they've been known to keep things. So if you if we look at the, the track record of iPhones, maybe you would think the home pods would, would continue on because I mean, the technology really hasn't changed. It is a speaker, you know, it really is. It is. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think they'll continue it. This has been really successful for them. The fact that they released it in colors tells me that they have confidence in the product because this is like their move is okay, cool. People bought them. How can yeah. we get them to buy more? I'm kind of jumping ahead. Sorry. Um, so I feel like they're probably seeing success that they're willing to invest in manufacturing a whole new line of them. But they sound great. I have two, but I, they're separate. I don't. I haven't paired them together before, but I hear together they sound incredible. Yeah. yeah, I have one on each side of my desk, and I have you know they're a stereo pair, so they sound amazing. Right. So well, we'll talk about the HomePod Mini here in just a bit. Uh, next story: Apple restructures its website, separates. AirPods and TV Home into their own sections. Wow, about time. As part of a new product announcement that was uh, had that happened this past week, uh, Apple restructured its website to prominently highlight AirPods as its own product category and creating a TV and Home only at Apple and a new accessories tab. You know, the, men the menu bars will look uh, considerably more crowded, but they do highlight everything that's uh, there, which is great. And uh, now I have an easy way to get to AirPods because it was buried. Uh, but let's, let's face yeah. it, if you wanted to find out what, what's going on with AirPods, we'll talk about AirPods here in a bit here. But uh, but no, this is this is good news. And, and as we know, Apple is always is still, I think, to this day, hand codes its its website, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. That's what I had heard. It's about time that, that it got treated as its own separate category. I mean, first of all, there's four tiers now. There's the second generation AirPod, third generation Pro. Right. In the Mac, so they have a, quite the lineup now, and I, I think those headphones are ubiquitous at this point. They they feel as ubiquitous as the white headphones, like the white I, iPod headphones. You'd walk around and you just see the white iPod headphones and know yeah. exactly right. that someone's using an iPod. And I feel like that's AirPods now. 
It happened pretty yeah. quick, actually. It came out, what, 2017? 2016? The AirPods? Whenever the iPhone 7 came out. Yep, that's about 2017, right. 2017, I think. Yeah, yep. so it happened pretty quickly. 2016. Considering, you know, there were $150 purchase minimum. Well, not anymore, but they were before. This week. They were rumored for a long time before they were released, too. Yeah. Um, but they're iconic. I mean, you look at them, say, like in a silhouette, just by the shape, you know, they're AirPods. Yep. So what what I thought was really cool was... Um, Oh, we'll we'll get to it when we talk about AirPods. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, but uh, this is just more the website. It's it is restructured. You you're going to have find it much easier to find these products because yeah, you, know, you would go into accessories. I go into accessories now, and then you know things are still buried. Do they even sell Beats? <laughs> I don't even see them. You got to they're they're buried in the accessories. <laughs> they're buried in the accessories somewhere. Because uh, yeah, headphones and speakers. That's where you go to, and I believe yeah, they still have the AirPods there, but then you also have the Beats buried buried in there as well they're still yeah. there um, i went to look up when airpods came out so i could share that because i was curious i'm taking a screen for this right now but um the, i looked up airpods and duck go and the first suggestion was dfw international airport <laughs> so random where does it think you are well, that's what's, yeah i know yeah. it's so random anyway um yeah the, the beats thing yeah they bury those and um you just bought some dad and that you like them a lot um, I got a pair of Beat Solo Pros. I, I can't remember what they're called. Yeah. Um, but th- they are good. They're really good. I got them for like a steal at Best Buy. Um, but I ended up giving them to my son because um, I got the the AirPods Max because I wanted um, – the Beats are good, but the they didn't cover my air, ear completely. Yeah. And after a while, it starts to hurt. It's, it's um, whereas, on ear, right? It's not over ear. It's on yeah, ear. it's on ear. Whereas the AirPods, uh, the Max are go over my ears, and the noise cancellation. I mean, when I have that on, I can't hear anything. Yeah, they're great. So it's, for that. that's good when you want to focus. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it doesn't go surprise me the beats are buried like that because I feel like that purchase had nothing to do with the headphones themselves. I think that purchase was about two things: Apple Music because Beats had their own music service. They bought it for that, and then. Beats had a lineup of varying colors of headphones, SKUs, different models, yeah. different SKUs. Yeah. And they were manufacturing these at massive scale. And I think Apple wanted that manufacturing prowess for the Apple Watch to release a number of different customized bands and scale and that kind of stuff. So I feel like that was, the purpose of Beats was never about the headphones. So it makes sense yeah. for varying them. I personally oh. thought they were going to shut Beats down. but Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah, then there's rumors for new ones coming out. I think Kim Kardashian was where it was found wearing a pair of, of new. I, uh, I heard that. So, but I don't get into that stuff. So we got the two two other stories. Both are about the Apple Card. Uh, this was in our friends at the Mac Observer. Uh, Apple Card customers are getting six percent cash back. It seems that Apple Card customers are going to get six percent cash back on purchases from Apple, as opposed to the usual three. Nothing's been officially announced about this yet, but uh, somehow, some way, someone went into their wallet and said, "Ooh, look at that! I get six percent back." So you go buy a Mac for twenty five hundred bucks, you're getting six percent on that. Uh, That's pretty, insane. Pretty good. I have never yeah. had that much of a return, especially people are starting to buy Macs now uh, with the new Macs that were released. Uh, hmm, it's gonna be interesting to see where that Incentive. goes. Incentive. Yeah. Well, yeah. four or five percent is usually pretty high for cash back on a card. Six, I don't even think yeah. I've heard of that. No. I mean, if you price out a 14 inch MacBook Pro at three thousand dollars, you're talking about well, like 180 bucks or something like that in cash back. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, exactly. So then uh Apple Card also had its woes. It had its woes earlier uh, this month with the iPhone and I would try it. I experienced firsthand where I couldn't uh, make my purchase with my Apple card. I had to use another card before uh, uh, and I would have been shut out if I wouldn't have done that, but they, they took care of it, all the customers and gave the, gave the 3% cash back, even though you bought it on a different card. Um, but in this case, Apple was offering uh, a 0% financing, which they normally do, but it made a checkout error. Uh, so uh, what had happened was uh, pe- customers were going to uh, make a purchase, and then all of a sudden the 0% financing didn't happen, and they had to pay it in full. Ooh. So if you were looking to finance it, that might have been a problem. But they're fixing the problem, and uh, they're uh, going to go in and, and 
give people the option of the monthly installments. I've got my Apple Watch, uh, my old Apple Watch. I'm still paying, which is fine by me. They gave me two years. I'm not going to complain. Cost me like 10 or 15 or 20 bucks a month. Uh, yeah. And then and an iPad, the iPad Pro, the iPad Pro, the M1 I got. This is on the financing. You don't even feel, you don't even feel it. Just they just pay it and it's 0% and it's covered. Um, so, but, uh, it is a good incentive they offer, uh, and most of the stuff they offer is for, tw- for a year, sometimes two years. Uh, but, uh, what do you guys think? I think Apple, I think, I think Goldman Sachs and Apple have some, some, uh, some work to do. They still, they still continue to have problems. Well, this isn't a new problem because this happened to me when I bought my iPhone 11 and then it happened again when I got my 12, where I could not use my Apple card yeah. to finance it. I ended up having to pull out another credit card. And yep. then once I got it through the upgrade program, I was able to right. change the payment to my Apple card. But that's, that's what I did. I didn't get I didn't get like anything as far as cashback. But on the other hand, every month when you know I citizens takes out my upgrade, um, me, too. me too. I get the three percent on that. So Yep, me too. It, it's the exact kind of integration that you would expect just works. That's kind of the whole pitch of, of Apple. It's kind of strange that like another company's card is going to work better than yeah. <clears throat> it's like Apple's iCloud, own cards. Like I can't works. download a music file in iTunes, but like Spotify works great on my Mac. Like that, it's that kind of like oddity. Yeah. Like it shouldn't work that way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, so that's the news. Uh, we're going to talk about beta, uh, beta this week. Release candidates, release candidates for uh, for all of uh, of the the OSs that are out there now. Uh, iOS fifteen dot one is release candidate, and they uh, just uh, as we record this today, uh, this morning they re- released uh, the second release candidate for iPad OS fifteen dot one, which I attempted to download and it didn't uh, say it was available, so I haven't had a chance to go look and see what the the version is. Uh, that's supposed to be out there um maybe it didn't get released that who knows but it's probably a, just a second candidate uh, so watch os 8.1 that 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 has a uh, release candidate uh, as well as tv os so they're supposed to release all these uh, versions uh, on monday december uh, december october 25th uh and uh and that I think some of the features are going to include things like share players finally going to be available. Um, they have some fixes and updates and such. Uh, uh, but we got links in the show notes to, to what uh, you can expect uh, that's going to happen here with the, and we've talked about it a number of times. Uh, 15.1 for HomePod is still in invite only at its beta. I don't know where that's going. I would assume it will get released once it goes, uh, and when it goes public. Uh, so, uh, and the things like the fact that you can put your, your vaccine card records and some, some states are allowing your driver's license in the wallet. Uh, that's going to be an option in 15.1 as well. So not a ton of stuff. I think the biggest thing that people are probably going to be excited about finally is, uh, the share play. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. is the biggest by far for me yeah. like, I, I can't wait i was specifically very bummed because i wanted to watch foundation with, with my dad over yeah. SharePlay, yeah. and we have been able to to do that and now he doesn't want to watch anything with me ever again because i <laughs> did that so maybe <laughs> one can That's rekindle right. our, our relationship nope. there um no, yeah i'm interested. excited about that <laughs> no, i might have to jump in on this so we can watch i still still haven't uh been able to get into foundation but maybe if i watch somebody will all be into it i could or maybe i'll get into it uh yeah, yeah. I like it. it's, it's a good show so far it's a great show um but um the the vaccine card i'm, I'm excited about that because i always get really paranoid i'm going to lose my vaccination card yeah <laughs> and then like i'll try to go get groceries and like sorry sir like you can't go in here um like wow. that's gonna happen <laughs> it's a little intense my uh my friend he went to um was it Seattle? I can't remember. He was in Seattle somewhere where they had like vaccine passports were, were needed. And mm-hmm. um, he couldn't, though, use the vaccine on uh, on the wallet yet. So he just made a shortcut in the shortcut sap where he had the home screen icon. He clicks on that and then just pulls up a picture of his vaccination card immediately. Oh, wow. So if you can't get it in your state, you still have that option if you want to. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't even know how you add it. It'll be interesting to see. I have mine in a like a a small pouch that I keep in my backpack, mm-hmm. and inside the pouch is also an air tag. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I won't lose it. Yep. 
So uh, interesting. We're going to see where things go for next week, uh, and then, as well as Monterey for for Mac OS. Uh, so uh, I know some things that you're going to be able to use with your iPad was the universal control. Uh, that's not going to be ready for Monterey, so uh, we're going to be uh, waiting a while for that one. Um, but uh, uh, still, bummer, but... still got Sidecar uh, that uh, that's going to be around uh, to use if you want to. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we got got uh, the final versions will be start to be out next week uh, for fifteen dot one, and move on to the next version fifteen dot one one or who knows, <laughs> we'll see where it goes. Uh, and you guys, you said you're not you don't run beta on any of your devices, right? I normally do. I just don't have the latest one. I mean, I'm running Monterey, but on the iOS devices, I usually install it about halfway through the beta period okay. um, over the summer. And then when the release comes out, I usually just take off the developer profile. And so I usually don't go to the inter- incremental um, releases. Okay. I'll just wait for it. Yeah, I'm the same way. Um, I do the, the point oh major updates mm-hmm. um, in beta over the summer. But after that, once we catch up, I'm, I just stay on the normal software at that point. I don't usually see there's a huge difference in the point one updates that I want that functionality immediately. Gotcha. All right, let's uh, go ahead and move on. Um, so Apple that this past week had their, their Apple event unleashed and uh, it was uh, interesting. It's probably one of the shortest uh, presentations I've, I can recall yeah. that, that Apple's done. It was uh, just, uh, just a little over 50 minutes in the last few have been an hour and a half, two hours sometimes. So, but they really put it on a focus. It was, uh, it was focused on music and the Mac. Um, and uh, everything, every, everything in between. So, some of the things we'll cover uh, this week. Uh, uh, one of the things that they they came out with was uh, the the HomePod, uh, the HomePod Mini, uh, it was released with different colors, uh, which I thought was uh, interesting. Um, and they're uh, different different colors in the sense that they come in uh, blue and orange, and uh, along with the, with the white and yellow and the black, uh, the silver space gray. Um, so, uh, interesting, but the other thing interesting I found is, and, and I, people were, 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 were talking about this on social media is the fact that the colors, they're, they're not a good, they're not the right color spectrum. Like the orange is not the same color as the orange in the iMac yeah. and the blue is not the, and I know Brian, you're, you're always in, into those details of, of color palettes and, and I yeah, thought they, they they inside that, uh, which is very surprising. I thought. Yeah, the orange doesn't look orange to me, but then what they call like like the iPhone cases that are supposed to be orange, they call them, I forgot what the word they use to describe the orange, electric orange or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, electric orange. Yeah, it just doesn't look orange to me. But the Apple, the iPhone orange leather case from a few years ago, that's orange. You know, that's what I consider to be orange. I just want the yellow HomePod mini for my office because it'll go really good with that. Okay, and I'm a and I'm a sucker like that. So yeah, hopefully they'll have them on sale. You're going to get a little bit, little bit better deal. Um, so uh, as far as uh, as far as the sound goes, and we we just were talking about that sound quality is really good. Um, uh, I had been using I had two as a pair that I was using uh, on my uh, my my. Uh, uh, basement was being uh, redone the, the replacement of the floor, so I had to use the HomePod Minis for for a time uh, instead of having to reset up the home theater and then reset it up again. Um, yeah. So so now we'll probably put them around the house and uh, you know and uh, they they've they've for for a little speaker they got just some mighty mighty good sound I must admit. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. You know, compared to of course the big HomePods, which are are pretty phenomenal. Um, so. Uh, it's a d- definitely going to be an interesting market to see where Apple goes with HomePods and you know, HomePod Minis in general. Um, there has been some chatter about the fact that maybe they're trying to compete with uh, with uh, Amazon with their with the voice controls because it's with Siri and ask adding more enhanced features. And we'll talk about music here in just a minute. Um, but uh, it, yeah, I, I'm, it's going to be definitely interesting to see where where Apple goes with uh, with HomePod in the future, HomePod Mini um, with this. I think, think for the mini line in particular, I would not be surprised if we see yearly cycles where they just change the colors out and keep it the same. Yeah. 
yeah, possible. I think so too. And for me, it's, it's, I don't even use them for Siri. Um, mainly because I just, I have my phone, I have my Mac, I, you know, there's a million places where I can, you know, get information from Siri. So mm-hmm. I just, I use it for music and I don't even use voice commands. I just airplay out to it, Airplay, you yeah. know, from Apple music. Um, so I'm a pretty minimal user. I just use it for music because it sounds great. I could care less about having Siri built into it because <laughs> I don't know. In a way, I think that's kind of creepy, but that's just <laughs> I, <laughs> I only use uh, HomePod for Siri just to turn lights on and off in the house. Um, I'm really incredibly basic with, with the HomePod, but it's still convenient enough for me to, I think, make it worth it to put one in almost every room. Yeah, see, I do that with my watch. Yeah, I like I'll walk in a room and press my watch and say, you know, hey, S-I-R-I, yeah. you know, turn the lights on, do this, you yeah, know, whatever. The problem is, is that when you have a HomePod, see, I don't like doing the whole hold down the button on my watch because then I feel like I might as well use my phone because I'm using two hands to interact with like, the watch at that point for like, a voice command. It just feels a little too cumbersome when voice commands are supposed to be easier. So, and I also... If I don't use two hands, I have to, I can just say, hey, you know, S into the watch. But then my HomePod picks it up because that thing can hear you from like a thousand yards away. It's actually pretty crazy how how far away it can hear you. Yeah. So I just yeah. use the HomePod. It's easy. No, no I, I agree. set timers with it. Yeah. I mean, timers all kind are of, nice on it. Yeah. There's all kinds of, yeah, there's all kinds of things we could do with it. Uh, but, uh, Ah, it'll it'll continue to evolve, and uh, we'll we'll definitely see where it goes here. So, but uh, I know you guys have been we've been talking about this all week. We're itching to talk about this topic and and this new product that Apple came out with. It's probably one of the best products they've ever come out with in the world. The cleaning yes. cloth, the cleaning Highest cloth, demand too. The cleaning the polishing cloth. cloth, the polishing cloth. That's right. I've got the wrong the pol- see, term. We've been, it, we've been calling it all week. We've been calling it the pol- the cleaning cloth. No, it's, it's a, actually it the is polishing. The, it's, I'm going to change that. Call it the eye touch. As well. Yes, thank you. And the eye watch. Oh. Yeah, you the can eye watch the eye. T- so, oh. it is the Apple polishing cloth, and I was like. S- I was like, what the heck? I was almost as bad as the iPod socks. Uh, hey, you know what? I like the iPod. I still have an iPod sock. So yeah, I wish I had one. There I didn't I didn't have an iPod that 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 that, that fit that, so it was pointless to buy them. But <laughs> but they're probably that there's something that you want to keep for uh, for nostalgia. Um so yeah, this was a polishing cloth and I think it was more aimed towards uh, the the new Mac uh, displays to clean them because they had the uh, the, the 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 new displays that are out now nano uh, texture the, yeah the nano texture and um but it works with any apple device which makes sense 1999 um is it worth the purchase <laughs> you, know, you guys well, all ordered them right i mean we had five. to i got five of them did you I order, had, did did you order five no, i didn't <laughs> order any of them <laughs> i ordered one just because i want to see i did too I mean, it in to be honest with you I still have the cleaning cloth for my original iPhone and I still use it and yeah. it's great. I and when I bought my 24 inch cinema display, like in 2008, they gave in the box was a, like a huge version of that, that cloth. And I still have that and I keep it in my backpack yeah. to clean like the screen on my MacBook and stuff or my iPad. So, you know, why not? I mean, 19 bucks, I'd throw that away at Starbucks anyway. So what difference does it make? You know? Yeah. Well, I just put an article in the show notes from Mac Rumors that just published a day ago before as we record this, and you're not going to get one for Christmas. They might not be available till until January 2022 at this point because so many people have, have ordered them. I mean, that's what's crazy. But a, a, a twenty dollar polishing cloth is, is out of stock. There's going to be a lot of a lot of crying children when they don't have this. Under you might, you might have to go year. on eBay and you see if they're going to sell them for five times the cost. <laughs> I'm getting mine like early December. So I could potentially make some serious cash on this. You could yeah, just I'm do like an advanced curious. sell. I'm looking at what the shipping times are on like a series seven watch. Cause I'm just curious, like probably that just came they're out pretty recently. Far what out is, that, that's yeah, a what problem too. The, the delays mm-hmm. on that oh. one as well. Cause this like, it was it 10 to 12 weeks for a polishing cloth seems crazy that even I bet be they made like six phone. of them i bet they made That's like the six of them you know <laughs> they made six of them yeah 
It's like That's Nintendo. Due to, due to supply shortages because of COVID, we had to. Yeah, we couldn't Component manufacture shortages. quite as many as we thought we could. Yeah. Oh, um, my, no, my my cleaning my polishing cloth is coming on to- October twenty sixth. So. Oh wow! Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Wow, you got in really early. I did. Well, wow, you're a bigger it. sucker than me. I had yeah. to think about it for a few <laughs> days. I had to convince myself. It says I had delivers, to suck it up and do it. It says delivers October 26th through November 2nd. So I, I got the well, first you know, batch. It's, it's funny because the other day, Holden and I were talking about this on the phone. We're like, oh, man, this polishing cloth. Did you see this? Blah, blah, blah. By the end of the call, we had both ordered it. So. <laughs> no, you ordered it. I didn't order it. Oh, you didn't order I thought you ordered it. No, yeah, no. See? Did not you ever, order one? No, of course not. No. You, you didn't order one? No, I'm going to have to ask you to leave this call. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been nice seeing you. You're not no, one of the terrible, <laughs> horrible, awful people who uses their shirt to wipe off their phone and, and all that all stuff. Right, now it's you terrible. really got to go. Come on. I, I, I still got I still got this stuff, the eye clear. Remember this? Oh, my God. I do. Uh, yeah. It still works. And that's, that's look, it's got like the leopard. Yeah, um, look at what's on the bottle. On the if anybody's looking at the live stream, look what's on the bottle. All the old old yeah. products. Look at that. I think that's, oh God, the, no, that's that's the first iPad. I think it's on there. Yeah, and that's that's actually <laughs> Snow Leopard. leopard. Yeah, Snow yeah. Leopard. Yeah. yeah, Snow Leopard had the better <laughs> wallpaper than Leopard. But yeah, yeah that isn't that wallpaper. crazy? It's it's. Uh, so uh, Apple yeah, Watch there's, Series there's, Seven. There, there's the cleaning cloth. Green. The eye yeah, cleaning. It's probably going to be about that size too. Yeah, the, big, the Apple Watch is November thirtieth to December seventh right now, so that's actually yeah, that's farther bad. back than I would have expected. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I kind of, you know, even i iPad Minis are like way out still. Not much. I wonder what AirPods are at. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, mine are coming. I I bought I bought the new AirPods. Um, oh, you did. Yeah, just because these are my pros and it does not fit in this ear. All right, hold, mm-hmm. it's hold the that, strangest thing. Hold that thought. We'll, we'll we'll come to the AirPods here just a bit in a minute. Here. Okay. Okay. Um, let's uh, go yeah, on and move on to Apple Music because you've been you, uh, Brian. You've been perplexed to what the what the heck this new plan is. What so the hell is this? A- a- Apple comes out and announces uh, that was the first thing that opened in, during the event uh, uh, on Monday a- again, and also. What, what's with it being on Monday? I, I, I we were all thrown off. It's always been on a Tuesday, and, yeah. And and this event was on a Monday. Uh, I, I was mesmer. I just mesmerized. Why? Why would Apple switch out the switch out on this? It just made no sense to me. Um, yeah, but, especially but, since it's pre-recorded. They could have played it any time. Yeah. You know? So. So quietly, they, they, uh, not really quietly. I mean, um, Tim Cook was the first thing he talked about, talking about how, you know, how music is uh, is, is a, the big thing now, and everybody will rely on using Siri to listen to music. And as you talked about earlier, you don't like to do use that for this. So, so what Apple decided to do is it's a it's a, a plan for someone who wants to be able to access music, not to pay a lot for it, because uh, a single person will now be able to spend only four ninety nine a month for them to be able to only listen to music by asking Siri to play it. So you'll have access to all the music, but uh, and but it's only the only way you're going to be able to use this plan is if you use Siri to ask for, for using basically what they're calling it the voice plan. Uh, so it's for one person, and you get Siri on 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 Apple devices. You get songs, playlists, stations, and uh, all the Apple devices. Um, so that's a single plan if you that's if, if that's all you want. And then we've got I'm, I'm going to put a link here from the nine to five article, and this is also the grid that Apple showed during the the event. Because there's there's two other plans you can get as well. The individual plan, which is basically what you're paying for anyway, because I have the Apple One bundle, so I already have a voice plan. Everybody yeah. who has has the Apple Music has a voice plan because they can use Siri to to listen to music. In this individual plan, you pay nine ninety nine a month. And it's for one only one person. Siri on all devices, songs, playlists, um, and stations. But then you also get lyrics, music videos. You didn't get that in the in the single voice plan. Uh, and then you also get the spatial and lossless audio, which you don't get in the cheap voice plan. Uh, and of course, Apple Plus supported devices, meaning you can use your Android device or any other devices that support Apple Music. And then you have the and you have the uh, the family plan, which is at fourteen ninety nine a month, which will include um, basically six people in your family, um, which is basically what I have for the Apple bundle now. 
So I, I have the Apple One bundle, um, which includes all the other services. So th this is kind of pointless to me. So really, I think they were in just in trying to entice more more subscribers to the music, Apple Music, and uh, and to the fact that uh, for five bucks you get access to music and you get access to Apple's extensive catalog. But you were saying it has to be used on an iPhone. Or really, or really an Apple product. It has to be used on an Apple product for the low end product. Android. Yeah, it's 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 for okay. the voice plan. Just the voice plan. One person, Siri, on Apple devices, songs, playlists, and stations. That's all you have access to with that plan, and then only Apple devices. Right. They should have called this the Siri plan because voice the, plan only looks makes it sound like it's subsidized by your carrier or something. Or it's like part of your, you know, yeah, it's like a T-Mobile thing or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think when I think voice plan, I immediately think about phone plans. Phones. Like instantly. Yeah. 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 To yeah. me, this this screams of something else. Like, in other <laughs> words, this is they're testing something out, whether it's a, you know, interfaceless, you know, system that they're testing um, or voice control, or maybe they're looking to force people to use Siri more. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like something that people would be asking for. Yeah. So I, my first thought was immediately like that. Like there's gotta be something else here. And then I remembered that my mom only listens to music through the home pod. She does not listen to music any other way. She hmm. never listens on her phone. She never ever listens by going to the music app, finding a song and selecting right. it. She always uses yeah. Siri, mostly because she just kind of says, hey, Siri, play me some stuff. Yeah. She's now, not like, looking you, for particular stuff. Now you just triggered everybody's uh, 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 HomePod. Oh, crap. Sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Hey, yes, lady. That out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm um, so. I think for her, it makes sense. But I feel like for a lot of people, this plan is going to mean, oh, there's a low entry to get into Apple Music for $5 for the first month. And then I'll want to spend $10 every month after that to use the app because I don't want to be hindered with my music listening experience like that. Right. I, yeah, it's it's strange. But I think there is a niche of people that this is going to work for. But it's definitely an odd yeah. plan well, to begin with. And, and really to make it odd to the fact that the way Apple introduced it, we were all confused. I was confused, and, and that was. Yeah. I mean, we're talking. We were talking. I was talking on Mac Voices live, live earlier this week uh, as we record this, and I didn't even get it until we then we finally said, "Oh, that's what they're talking about that it's that it's Siri only and it's limited and all that." It, it was it was extremely confusing. So basically, all they did was they added an additional plan to Apple Music. That's really how they should have advertised it. This was yeah. so gung ho of Siri, 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 because they're trying to get people to think, "Oh, Siri is really good," and you know it still has its flaws. Please, I mean there yeah. are there are still yeah. issues with Siri. I feel like the, I think the issue for them is they can't come out and say, hey, here's this new plan. It doesn't do the phone app. It doesn't do Android. It doesn't do they can't say what it doesn't do. They have to say what it does do. And then that kind of makes it hard to position it, I think, yeah. because they can only I mean, really talk about Siri. This is like the um, the what was it? The iPod. We were just talking about it, and I can't remember the name. The of iPod that. Shuffle without the button. Yeah, the Shuffle. This is like the yeah. equivalent of the iPod Shuffle. <laughs> and one yeah. thing I don't like, why this is not for me, is because I want to listen to what I want to listen to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like I don't. That's why I don't like services like Pandora, or I don't like playlists mean made for me, or or just saying, "Hey, S lady, you know, play me some music." Mm -hmm. Because I just want to listen to what I want to listen to. You don't get to yeah. decide for me, Siri. Sorry. <laughs> well, it, this is one of my big questions, too, is can you make your own playlist in the music app? You can't listen to the song there, but you can at least see like a list of songs that you can't play by tapping on them to make a playlist yourself. Or you do not even have that option. And the only music you really you, get to listen to is. You can't even so open the app. You go to open the app no. and you get a big red hand that says, sorry, you're the voice only plan. Yeah, Zane Lowe is there to explain the voice plan. To you. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I wonder how that would work. Could you say, hey, play this particular playlist that I made, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm curious how, how that would, would work. I, I imagine my guess is that you can't make any custom playlists. You just work off of what is there. They made a point before announcing the voice plan to talk about all these new, you know, 
human curated playlist they've made just to match certain moods. Yeah. Um, so I feel like they aligning those two things together. I'm, my assumption is that you can't custom make anything. And if you go into the music app, it's only the songs that you actually own from iTunes. Interesting. That, that's yeah, my I guess, guess at least, but I, don't, I, I feel like I'm, I feel like that's correct. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever know any more about this just because I have absolutely zero <laughs> interest in it. So the other benefit too, is they get to say Apple music now starts at four ninety nine. That's another this is true. Too. This is true. Okay, Dave, I see you put in the show notes there. One person, Siri on Apple devices, songs, playlists, stations, all Apple devices. But it doesn't tell you that you can create. It also doesn't have spatial and lossless audio either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like anyone, though, who's like looking to save $5 on their monthly plan for music is not going to be like, oh, darn, I'm missing out on spatial audio. I feel like anyone who's thinking about spatial audio probably is going to spend that five extra dollars to get spatial audio. Yeah. It'd be cool if they would break this down, like during like an earnings call and say, you know, like we have 10 million family plans. We have, you know, 50 million individual plans and six voice plans. <laughs> and six <laughs> voice plans. And we'd like to thank Bob, Jessica and Samantha yeah. for subscribing to the voice stage. plan. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone come up here. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, it seems strange to me, but I don't know. You know what? It could be really big for a lot of people and yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see, but I, I just it kind like, of threw it me, it threw me off. Definitely. Yeah. It is too, like we can still use the same plan we've been using. It doesn't change anything for us. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's probably what most people have. Yeah. So let's talk about the AirPods, um, the AirPods announcement. Uh, so they, they they announced the AirPods 3. Uh, and uh, uh, this was, uh, I think, a smart thing that Apple did because uh, the fact that they uh, needed to have a midline model. Um, so because they, they, they yeah. had the AirPods, which is the, uh, the 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 starting model that's been around, I think, I think we determined, what, 2016, I think it was, 2017. Um, yeah. Did you ever find out, Holden? Or were you too busy? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you got stuck. In the I, it FW. wasn't a point to interject and be like, by the way, guys, really important. It's 2016. So I didn't say 2016. I don't remember it being that long ago, but I guess, yeah. yeah. Gosh, well, iPhone 10 was, was the next year in 2017. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, so, so now you have the, the iPad, the AirPod, AirPods at 129. And then you have the mm-hmm. AirPods, the third generation, which is at 179. And uh, you have them, of course, the AirPods Pro, which of course failed on me right now, and <laughs> but some, but probably my probably my Mac was. I, I got to figure this out because this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, but uh, uh, so, really, where, where would you want to go between these three models? So uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, the the AirPods third generation do, does not have spatial audio. So really, that's going to be the big difference between the AirPods third gen yeah. and the AirPods Pro. Um, so, and I can tell you the spatial audio, uh, it does sound uh, pretty, pretty phenomenal. Um, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And I'm going like this every time when uh, I'm moving my head back and forth. Yeah. And like, Whoa, where am I? <laughs> I know. I do that too. It's like, oh, wow, now he's over there. Now it's like, you know. It's it's very well done. Um, I still need to watch that whale documentary that you were telling me about because that apparently yeah, you said you use spatial audio really really on well. On Apple TV Plus, there's a whale documentary, yeah. and I can't remember the name of it, but it was excellent. Yeah. And that was the first thing I watched in spatial audio, and I had no idea it had spatial audio until I turned to my head and I was like, "Whoa!" It's like you feel like you're there. It's a little disorienting yeah. at first, but it really puts you into what you're watching. So I, I've not been a fan of spatial audio whenever I've used it. So to me, I turn it off anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You're going to have to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is, it's disorienting for me. Yeah. Like, I would think I'll, it would be for some people. Like, cause when I'm looking at a screen, I'm expecting, I can just hear that content. My priority is I want to hear that content as well as I possibly can, whether I'm turning my head in any direction. So when I turn my head one way and then I can't hear what I'm watching as well in my, in the ear facing away from that device, it's very disorienting. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why is it adjusting the audio levels yeah. in, in these separately? Like I would like them, I'd like to hear it equally well in both headphones. Yeah. So I don't know. It, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work. I thought it was going to be it. gimmicky. 
I thought it was going to be gimmicky, you know, that this was just kind of like, but actually I really like it, Mm -hmm. especially foundation in spatial audio is fantastic. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe it's if something is really made for it, like that whale documentary sounds like that was really made for spatial audio. Maybe that's a different experience, but right now it feels like I'll watch a show on Apple TV and that's not designed for spatial audio. So all it really does is say, okay, your screen's in front of you. And if you turn your head, it's still right, right there. And that I don't like, but if it's like you were saying like the, with the whale documentary and the whales are around you and you can hear them kind of coming all around you, that sounds more interesting, but I haven't had that experience yet with it. Yeah. 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 Watch, watch that documentary. It's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we have the AirPods, the second generation, third generation, uh, and you compare and you compare really what they have, they all have the same uh, chips. The H1 chip is in there. Um, you know, the uh, the second gen AirPods, I from, believe, uh, well, they have, it has USB A charging, um, Lightning USB A. Uh, the uh, the AirPods th- third gen and the AirPods Pro were the Lightning to USB C. Of course, that's a cable that came with it. Um, it does not have wireless charging with the second gen, but you do have wireless charging with Qi charging uh, for the other two models. Um, so uh, that's that, that's pretty good. Uh, so really, you got to decide where, where, where it's going to fit for you. But the, I think the spatial audio is going to be the biggest thing um, is the fact that uh, is that uh, something that's going to fit your needs. And the noise cancellation. Noise cancellation. That's right. I forgot that noise cancellation in AirPods Pro. Yeah, on the AirPods cancellation. It works really, really well. Like very. I mean, I have a pair of Sony over years, and those are known for having really good noise cancellation. And those are obviously still better. But the AirPod Pros do a fantastic job of noise canceling. Like I can be outside, just like hanging on the patio, and there's some noise and commotion I want to listen to, so I'll put the noise canceling on, and it's gone. So it works really well. And I personally, I think that is worth an extra 50 bucks if you're comparing to the wireless uh, charging version. Of yeah. The third generation. I think I, it's worth it. They just don't. And I'm wearing them now, but they just do mm-hmm. not fit in this ear. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a very functional. And so I, I bought the AirPod 3s to see if they would fit better because I do prefer the shorter stems, you know. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully they fit better. Um, and then the AirPods Pro, I can, you know. Yeah, I'm curious what it does for you because I think you said the second generation AirPods um, worked better for you. They, and then you went to the Pros did, and they not, didn't. Yeah, it's, it's, but I have, to be honest with you, I would use the Pros in a situation like this, but most of the time I have the, the Max ones. Um, I didn't know you got the Max. I told you. We we were just talking about that at the beginning of the show. He said he's got the AirPods Max. (laughs) Yeah. I thought you were being facetious. Honestly, I had no idea. No, I had so much Apple cash. It was like, because I was actually looking at getting Sony ones like yours. And you're still going to pay like $320, $350 for them, right? right? Yeah. And so after, you know, like I threw a bunch of Apple cash on it. It was actually cheaper than getting the Sonys. Um, They're not perfect. I hate this. Case, you know, I want them to. Yeah, well, I want them to fold up. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, um, and this is like kind of it's like a little purse. You know, I'm walking around <laughs> with like they look like Mickey Mouse ears, kind of. But they do, yeah, yeah. Um, but they fit great. They sound great. The digital crown is fantastic. Hmm. Um, yeah. So I mean, I I really like them. I just not crazy about how they lay flat like that. Gotcha. Yeah. I think the price difference between those and my Sony's is worth it. I've used, I haven't used yours, obviously. I didn't even know they existed. Um, yeah. I used a friend of mine. So he was staying over my house. Like one night I was just like, Hey, I, can I listen to your, your AirPods just like over the night and just like really test them out and see what they're like. They sound incredible. I think they do sound better than my Sony's and this cancellation is just as good. They're very comfortable, but here's the important thing. My, my Sony's are plastic and yeah. they don't hold up. The Max feels so solid. It feels like the kind of thing you could seriously have forever. Yeah. This is what I don't like about the Max, though. The bra. Well, not only that, but listen. Oh. I mean, they hit each other. There's no way to separate them. Like, if you're just carrying them around, yeah. and if you turn them like this, you know, you connect. Why are you laughing at me? Hold <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll turn after. <laughs> Right, I'm going home now. So okay, 
it, it reminds me of when I used to work in technical support and people would come in with their phones and they would shake them in my ear and they'd be like, do you hear that rattling sound? And I'm like, well, yeah, there's a spring in the camera. And um, that just like six they're metal headphones. If you shake them and they bang together, they're going to do. Well, that. I mean, they just they they shouldn't bang together like that, which is probably the matter, why they created this cool looking case. You know, yeah, not the, bra, really cool. the bra, the bra, the bra. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean yeah. it's a matter of physics. I don't know. I don't think um, I'm looking. Change. They could put rubber stops on either side of the headphones. I might do that. Which would look horrible. I'm going to put like rubber stops on there and they're going to look really cool. <laughs> like racing stripes, you know? Yeah. I don't know. So, I mean, I do like them though. Overall, would I pay full price for them? No, absolutely not. See, I would, but I use headphones all the time. So I do now. I mean, I use these for focus and for concentration mm-hmm. and I very rarely listen to music, you know, through headphones. Mm-hmm. So if like I'm writing or something, um, I'll put on soundscapes. I'll put on like just general noise. The noise um, function in iOS 15 is is great. I use that all the time. All right. Do you ever well, just like just turn on the noise cancellation and nothing just to block out all noise? <laughs> every day. <laughs> every day. All right. All right. Uh, so a couple more topics I wanted to hit before we run out of time here. Um, I did want to mention that my AirPods Pro were starting to get a crackling sound, uh, and this was a known issue with uh, with the older uh, AirPods that were made yep. uh, prior to, I think, October of 2020. Yep. Um, so I decided, they, they st- had just started doing it, so I said, you know what, I'm going in the Apple Store. I want to, I want to check it out and see if, um, uh, see if they'll replace them, because uh, I have a, sh- a link in the show notes. They do have a, 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 a service program for sound issues, they're calling it. It's not crackling to them, but so as soon as I brought it in, they said, "Okay, let, let us let us put it, and they can do a sound test on the on the AirPods Pro, and um, and then they'll let you know. They'll let me know. So well, they'll come back in an hour. They're going, oh, great. So I have to uh, sit around for an hour, wait for you to, to tell me that yeah, that you just, you could have easily just replaced them, and I can be been on my way. Yeah. Um, so hour later, up oh, there you go. And and they basically just gave me the new AirPods, and I kept the case. Um, so yeah. that I, I didn't get a new case. So so for those." you who do have airpods it, so i purchased mine right when they came out which was in uh, october 20 of ni- 2019. 2019 so yeah yeah so that's I when had i got f- mine i had the same issue and they replaced yeah. them so they replaced them okay so yeah so it was a little little frustrating to have to wait but it's a good thing that they have the program and then and, and, and i'm and i'm, I'm continue to be a happy customer apple definitely does a good job with the quality programs when they do them i think they do a good job with the, with the quality programs but i i, I had to look at the their article for it because I, I had to know what the first sentence was because it's always the same sentence in these quality programs. It's always Apple is determined that a small percentage a of small percentage. products, you know, may experience yeah. insert issue. It's always that yeah. sentence, a small percentage of, but to be fair, like 2% of AirPods is how many tens of millions of devices. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go play the lottery Apple. Okay. <laughs> Cause yeah. it always happens to me and I'm in the <laughs> small percentage. So yeah, let's play the lottery tonight. Yeah. You do have so, the worst luck with that, a hundred percent. I do. But I'm glad I was gotten replaced. Um, and then a uh, couple of cool, cool stuff I got uh, this this week um, from Spec. Spec has uh, been I've been a big big fan of Spec's products. Um, uh, they gave me some review uh, re- review units of some of their their AirTag accessories. They just came out with some accessories for their AirTag for the mm-hmm. AirTag, um, and uh, I'm actually you know, pretty impressed with them. They've got uh, I've got a link in the show notes of that. They're going to be coming soon. Um, the, the one I use for one of my key sets is I'm showing on camera here. This is the oh, uh, nice. uh, the slow ring, which is uh, forty nine ninety five. It comes in about four different colors, um, and they also have uh, the uh, the car- carbonate. Which is as I say, carb- carboner, carboner, um, which is a little ring like this. And I'm, oh, I like and I'm that showing on camera, and this this has the clip on. Only thing I'm finding out with these, it's really a little bit of a, a struggle to get the air tag inside this ring. That that's the uh, each one of theirs. Push it in. You really got to push hard to get yeah, it in here. It's, it's a nice a little looking. bit here. Be, that's yeah. the kind of thing you'd want to snap onto your bag or something. Yeah. 
because it looks cool. And, and uh, they also have a uh, a luggage tag one. That, that's the one I'm there showing here, which is magnetic, and you put the air tag in here, oh. um, then close it up, and then you, it comes with the loop that you can uh, attach easily to your to your luggage or your backpack. Um, and then they have the in fact use you can use these. These are the uh, these are the the, the silly loops uh, that they come in different colors here that uh, you can uh, put your uh, air tag into here and uh and this can just you can just uh, uh string this through uh, uh on your backpack if you wanted to have to do it from the outside oh, that's, that's nice so they yeah, a lot they got nicer a than the belkin ones for sure the belkin ones look yeah. really cheap those look nice i've got they, i've got the belkin one and it yeah. really is cheap that 12 dollar one uh yeah. this one i this one i'm using from one of my key changes 44.95 and this actually is built pretty good and, and it's got one of the uh uh, the cable rings instead of the, yeah. the, the these crappy rings that you break your fingers fingernails on all the time when you try to oh, when, you, when you try to separate them. But um, so check it out spec uh, specproducts.com. We got uh, I got a link in the show notes uh, uh, for some of their new products. They'll be coming soon if you want to get some, uh, some now some more choices, so some really high quality choices uh, other than Belkin and other and some of those really cheap knockoffs you find on on yeah. Amazon. Um, I mean. They look really nice, Dave, but I only only use the Hermes ones. On that's, right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Because there's nothing I like you were paying four hundred eighty dollars for an yes. AirTag holder for a twenty nine dollar AirTag. I, I thought you that, thought you do. You you, yeah. get the, you have to have the Hermes. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> Yeah, can't so. be seen with that one. So. <laughs> um, they do so look really into your Honda. It's your keychain for your <laughs> yeah, Honda. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Then one last topic, and then we got a couple apps, so we'll wrap things up here. Is uh, uh, on Saturday, October twenty third, as we record this, the twentieth anniversary of the iPod. Uh, the iPod came out twenty years ago on this date. I remember it uh, vividly, watching Steve Jobs on that small little stage, yep. uh, uh, announcing it, pulling it out of his pocket for the first time, and announcing mm-hmm. it for the first time. Um, I I owned uh, just like iPhones. Uh, we're going to talk about iPhones. We'll talk about another time, but uh, that. I've owned uh, many iPhones. Well, I've owned a pretty good amount of iPods too. And I have to yeah. make sure I to say iPod because I'm so used to saying iPhone iPad. Uh, or iPad. Uh, so, um, uh, we got some links into the show notes so far as uh, as far as uh, the, the the iPod uh, and uh, Wikipedia. We have, there's a great article uh, in Wikipedia that shows all the iPod models. I can go through and I probably owned an, most of those iPods, uh, including I did own the very first iPod Touch. Uh, I remember that one. That was the first gen. Yes, I remember then, that and, too. And you couldn't you couldn't upgrade it anymore. So I and I got someone to buy it. So I sold it. <laughs> I, I I I have somewhere the first generation of the iPod that was the five yeah. gigabyte with five thousand songs. I had the one with the mechanical wheel. It, yeah, that's the mechanical wheel. Yeah. And I and I and I still can't forget the commercial, the first very the very first commercial and they use the song Take California. Yep. And yes. the, the guy jumping around and I mean they had they had such great ads for iPods. Yeah, uh, I think I had that saved in my hard drive somewhere. Uh, I love yeah, that commercial. I, I love that commercial and uh uh and uh and then uh the uh, the last generation was 160 gigabytes and th- that was they had stopped selling that about uh about, gosh seven years ago now so there's still a market for them uh yeah. so you still got uh, those ipods that are that are available which uh, uh as well so I've, in fact i've even found the original press release from apple they still have it on apple's website yeah. i can't believe it that that that, that the announcing the ipod for the first time and this is before the iphone this is before anything in the mobile arena that apple this is the very first thing that apple did in the marina so in 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 the mobile arena it changed the way it's, we listen to music it really did yeah, it's it's really what kind of launched apple you know i mean the did. imac was great and everything but it apple didn't really start to get to get big until the ipod what i thought was great in the event was the commercial for the airpods 3 is a throwback to the old yeah. Yeah. ipod commercials there was the silhouettes and what, and the colors and the, I loved it. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing the iPod for the first time and thinking, what the hell is Apple doing? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what a music yeah. player, but I was wrong. That's why I don't work for Apple. So, uh, hold on. Did you, did you, you had an iPod, right? Yeah. I remember I saved up, I think like, uh, no, this is my dad. No, your first, your first iPod. I won I in a raffle. No, 
That was on my first the one. The iPod that Video. Second one. That was oh, my okay. second one. All right. Forget um, which that was <laughs> a landmark product though for me. Cause that's when yeah. I first started. That's the whole story. Um, iPod mini was my first iPod. And I think the arrangement was like, I would save up for half of it yes, and you guys would right. match me. And yeah. then I got the iPod mini and the matching thing was like, after I've been saving for a while, cause you guys were like proud of me for like saving my money to get it. And yeah. so I got it earlier and I'm like so excited. I get it. And then like three weeks later, they announced the nano. <laughs> and <laughs> And yeah, if I great. had just waited and saved up money for myself and didn't get the matching, then I would yeah. have gotten a nano instead. Yeah. So I remember I remember that. But I still the mini was still like rock solid. That thing was yeah. tough. There was. Yeah. Those those, those were are great, great. devices. Yeah, and then we got then, the the video one. Yeah. And iPod the iPod with the yeah, with the video, yeah. With the video, so, the postage stamp size video. And I remember didn't yeah. you watch like like lost like the entire I thing on <laughs> so on your I, covers yeah. at night when you're supposed to be sleeping exactly <laughs> yeah and he got like three hours of battery life watching video because <laughs> that's a spinning disc drive it's like spinning in this the handle handle yeah. device but yeah i watched lost because they only had six shows and they were all from either abc or disney yeah and yeah. this is why you wear glasses now because you watch too many hours <laughs> of tv on an ipod <laughs> and and, but, and the games you could play on that ipod too which, which were just would break yeah. out in solitaire it's like i was like just spinning the wheel are, and getting yeah. things to move and See, break out like out. Great. which like the 3d version of brick where yeah. like you're going in the sphere and it lines the clue that was really cool but um but breakout was cool because steve jobs invented right well he invented well, quasi Sony, invented it <laughs> Yeah, Wozniak <laughs> actually wrote it, and then Steve Jobs screwed him out of what thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But yeah, I'm sure that was really a sore subject for Woz when he saw they put this into the iPod. It was kind of like another, you know. Yeah. That was that was pretty mean, I thought. That yeah. was the video that was a landmark campaign. iPod for me because that's when I every music I've ever bought was always digital on an iPod just because my generation, I just kind of happened to grow up in that window. I started buying movies for myself on, I had the iPod video at that point. So I've always just like started my collection on, on Apple devices and it's always maintained that way. And it's, I think a big part of that was the iPod video and having my own video collection when I was a kid, that was awesome. I love the iPod video. What a great, great device. Yeah. Yeah, I sold everything though. Uh, Other than the uh, steel back. Yeah. Yeah. They were scratched. scratched. They yeah, scratch that's easy. That's the worst part about iPod, I would say. Yeah. Those backs are the worst. They yeah. scratched easy. But then, then, yeah. then we haven't even talked about the, the iPod iPod Shuffle, which was yeah. uh, was popular for a while. Oh, so I've got, I still have the one that looks like a pack of, uh, like a piece of Trident gum. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, it that, works uh, as well yeah. as that, too. Yeah, it does. It actually does work okay. I mean, it does put, you just don't, you just don't know what's on there. You just got to just, you just play random music. Again, not uh, for me. I want to listen yeah. to what I want to listen to. And and then the first iPod Touch looked like a big pack of uh, Wrigley's chewing gum, yeah. Uh, uh, so and they, and they just kind of evolved down to a small square, and then yeah, the, then it finally the ones with the clip I away. thought were uh, which were the last ones I think. The you, know, you could clip them onto you, yeah. Those weren't bad, yeah, um, and they were weren't. dirt cheap. Yeah, you could buy them from next to nothing. That was my um, go-to present for my mom because she would lose it. And then I would get her a different color and then she'd find hers again. And then after a few years, she had like a variety of iPod shuffle colors. Yeah. <laughs> and they co- actually cost less than the polishing cloth. So, you know, <laughs> that, that's true. 20 bucks. So I forgot. I'm looking. So Dave, you have the link in here of like the Wikipedia uh, yeah, it's article, of like mm-hmm. all of the different uh, models. I forgot how much the iPod nano changed. It, it went did. from like tall and skinny to wide and fat to looking like an Apple watch. I forgot about the Apple watch yeah, version of the it. square. One yeah, of yeah, yeah. And people yeah. wore them as watches. They were, they were, they were making them into watches. Yeah. With they, they there were special bands of people that yeah. they were selling. Yeah. So, but happy birthday, to the iPod. Uh, the, we, we don't forget you. And uh, it was, uh, it, it, it was a quite, quite a good memory. Uh, and I got a few old ones that, buried here in the bin and then yep. brian's got one, one of his old ones too so they're still out there and still still people still a lot of them use it a lot of people out there still using them yeah yeah uh, so um all right before we wrap things up we got a couple apps here to talk about uh, brian you're talking about my favorite of app of all time if you want to go, go into that the built-in magnifier app yeah it, it's I mean, a no-brainer it is, it is a godsend for old people like me because i was just gonna say too. you're so old i would i would give you i'll give you an example of when i use it recently um my wife's macbook 
we were on vacation and her MacBook just blew up like the graphics chip or something and it melted. And we're talking to support and they're like, okay, can you get the serial number? And we couldn't boot it up. So you had to get it off the back of, right. And it's just, it's what's so great about it is that you can zoom in, you can get mm-hmm. it, snap a picture of it and then copy that text to like, you know, an email or a chat window or something. Um, so yeah, I use it. I, I hate to admit, I use it all the time and it's like on my home screen. So shout out to the magnifier app. And, and I'll also add to it, you also got, they've really done some great customizations in, in the, in the controls too. If you go into the, into the settings, the, 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 the gear, um, you can add things like secondary controls, like uh, people detection, the flashlight, uh, filters, brightness and contrast, uh, as well as the camera. And, and so they've added, they've even enhanced it even more, uh, than, than they had in the past. Um, uh, uh, being able to give you some more customized controls than you, you could before. And so it, it, it's not just people who can't see you. It, it does come in handy for, for a lot. Yeah, there are a lot of options. I didn't even see these. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yep. So, uh, all right. And then I have an app and this is actually a Mac app, but it works with, um, it worth works with the AirPods. So I thought it only fitting. We've talked there about the AirPods this week. It's an app called air buddy, air buddy two. And what it does is it actually gives you uh, an experience with the AirPods that you've never experienced before. And it's got a nice UI. Uh, it gives you, uh, it, 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 you know, it actually gives you the actual concept of, you know, when you're on the iPhone, when you open up your AirPods case, it shows up on the screen, right? Well, now this app will allow you to experience the same thing um, on the uh, on the Mac as well. Uh, and uh, gives you the battery alerts, reminds you to charging, because um, you know sometimes the the Apple Apple notification doesn't give you that. Um, it has a really nice menu bar um, and gives you uh, a view of all of your devices, including the AirPods, uh, and tells you what the, how much battery uh, life is, uh, where, what it is. Uh, so really cool, really cool thing. It even has quick quick uh, uh, quick actions where you can switch between noise cancellation and tra- transparency a lot easier uh, not expensive it's only like 9.99 it's for the Mac uh, but uh, you know for those who are you or if you are using airpods I think this is a great little app uh, that gives you uh, uh, gives you opportunity to do much more granular control of the airpods than uh, you could before I'm gonna check it out that's really cool I thought it was Battery. a movie about a dog yeah but... <laughs> They, know, this that is was Air Bud. Yeah, this is Air. Yeah, no, they had Air, Air Buddies though. They did have that spinoff of it. Yeah, yeah. The, but this, this is, is cool. A, I like this. This is the their second version. And yeah, this is their second version of it. Um, they 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 came out the first version. I and I held back. I I seem to remember it. I said, yeah, it doesn't look that exciting to me. But now they've really made some really good improvements, including customized keyboard shortcuts too. So if you want to switch the status, if if you those of you who like to use keyboard shortcuts, um, you can oh, toggle the news listening mode and all that too. So check it out. Links in the show notes here. So yeah, uh, and uh, and uh. The, with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up for this week. That's a wrap for this week. Please send your comments, questions, and suggestions to our email address at feedback at intouchwithios.com. You can follow us on Twitter at InTouchWithIOS. We usually live stream our show on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel. That's at youtube.com slash DaveG65. We can also watch past streams and uh, listen to uh, all of the episodes. Uh, you also can visit IT, In Touch With iOS magazine on Flipboard, where many of the topics uh, we talk, sp- uh, speak of, uh, we also discuss. We have a link in the show notes for that as well. Um, you can also listen to us and sub- subscribe on in your favorite podcatcher, including Apple Podcasts and many others. But better yet, go to our website at InTouchWithIOS.com, where all the ways all the ways listen to us are there. I am Dave Ginsburg, and you can find me on Twitter at DaveG65. And Holden, thanks for being here. Where can people find you? Uh, I am on Twitter at Holden Depardo. Uh, I'm also on a uh, an Apple podcast called Networked. We'll probably be mm-hmm. talking about the Macs on that pretty soon. So if you want to hear some more dis- discussion on the Mac stuff, Mac side of things, uh, we'll have that pretty soon. All right. And uh, Brian, thanks for being here as well. Where can people find Thank you? you? Um, at my house. All right, cool. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I, just show right up. I'll send you the address. Yeah, just come on over. I actually yeah. do have something. I'm doing a reading for my novel at Stanford 
um, nice. November 12th. So I'll I'll give you the link for the uh, show notes. Yeah. Yeah, put that in the link in the show notes. And uh, right. yeah, he's an accomplished author and IT professional and uh, all around nice guy. I saw the site <laughs> today. Nice it's very cool. I'm very proud. It's very cool having yeah. my dad go to Stanford for, for writing yeah. the program and doing so well. It's it's awesome. I'm really proud of you. I'm done with the program. This is like an alumni. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you <laughs> did it. I did it. There you go. I did it. I did it. The- all right, guys. Thanks for. Uh, uh, I hope we, I hope you enjoyed the show because we enjoyed getting, uh, doing it, and uh, it was lots of fun and a lot of good information. And thanks for listening. We'll talk again soon. Mm-hmm.